Here's my top five instant P warm up games. Let's check them out. So the first game is called Zone Tag. And what you need to do is divide your area up into four zones. So you can use cones or markers. And each of those zones are the tag zones. Now you're gonna select a tag of four each zone. So there should be four taggers. And then have everyone else spread out around the rest of the area. And they can go in any zone they want. So the rule is that the tag have to stay in that zone that they're in and they cannot cross over past the cone lines. But everyone else is allowed to run and cross those lines and move into the different sections. So basically it's, it's a simple game of tag. Now if someone gets tagged, they become the tipper and the tipper becomes the dodger and can then run on and gameplay goes on. Now at the end of time, when time is up, whoever is left as a tagger, so there will probably be four, there should be four left, then that tagger has to do a challenge. So for example, you might get them to do 10 push-ups or something like that. You can choose a fitness challenge. The next game is called Kangaroos and Crocodiles and it's a super popular game. Everyone's gonna love it. So what you have to do is simply make a middle line using cones or line markers. And then you're going to get everyone into pairs and have them facing each other across that line. Now one side are labeled the kangaroos and the other side are the crocodiles. You can always do any other theme that you like as well. So what's going to happen is everyone's getting ready to run and the teacher calls a side. So maybe the teacher calls kangaroos. If the teacher calls kangaroos, the kangaroos have to quickly turn and run away to escape from getting tagged by the crocodiles. Now, what you can do is you can set up end zones that they have to try and run to, or for example, they just have 10 seconds to try and last without getting tagged by their partner. And then you reset, everyone resets back. This time the teacher calls crocodiles, so crocodiles quickly react and try to run away. So it's very simple, but really good fun. Now what I like to do is I like to call out different instructions. So maybe before I call out kangaroos or crocodiles, I'll get them to do fitness things like five star jumps or you can do running on the spot. You can kind of do loads of different things, whatever you want, make it creative before they have to quickly run away and you obviously call out the side. The next game is called line elimination and you can basically play this wherever you have sports court lines or markings. In this example, we're obviously just using a basketball court. So start with everyone in the middle and essentially what's going to happen is the teacher is going to call out different lines or areas on the court and students have to quickly run there as fast as they can. So in this instance, we have sidelines that they could call or run to. We have baselines. There's the free throw lines. If you're on a volleyball court, maybe you can call out the net or even the attack line. So everyone's ready to run. The teacher's got to call out something. So for example, baseline. Everyone quickly runs as fast as they can to stand at any baseline. It can be either end as long as it's a baseline. Then the teacher calls out three point line. So they run to the three point line. And basically once students are familiar with the lines and the areas of the court, it's good for their learning and understanding. Then you can start to do elimination. So this is where the last player to get to that area or line is out and they have to sit on the side. So let's say the teacher calls out the opposite free free throw line. In this instance, you can see that the purple girl was last, so she is eliminated. She goes out to the side and then the gameplay continues and you just keep going until there's a winner. And you can obviously play multiple rounds. The next game is called Grab the Apple. And very simply, just get the class into groups of two and each group needs a ball and a cone. So what happens is when the teacher shouts ball or apple, it's the first player to quickly grab that ball who wins, wins a point, and then everyone resets and we go again. Now you can play lots of different variations. So the teacher will call out different instructions. So for example, they might say hop on one leg or then get into a crab position before quickly calling ball. 
So the teachers can be creative as you like. You can shout out all sorts of crazy things, get them to spin around, get them to jump, get them to hop, get them to run on the spot, whatever you can before calling out ball. And they have to quickly react to get that ball. So it's really good fun. And you can also vary it. So instead of grabbing it with your hands, this time you have to trap it with your foot. So you follow some different instructions and then you have to quickly touch it with your foot. The first one to put their foot on top of the ball wins. You can get points going, you can have the pair switch, all sorts of things like that. The last game is called Speed Chasers. And for this, just using cones, you've got to mark out a large area and that area is going to be the tag zone. Now inside the tag zone, you're going to put five or 10 dodgers, depending on the class size. Larger classes, you'll have more. Smaller classes, you might have less. Um, you'll get an idea of how many you need in there once the game gets going. And then the rest of the class are going to line up on the side. They are the chasers or the taggers. So we've got two groups. We've got the taggers and we've got the dodgers. So when the teacher blows the whistle, the chase with the start of that line has 10 seconds to tag as many people as they can. Everyone has to stay within that square. You can't leave it. And they're trying to tag as many as they can to be eliminated. So let's say this girl tags the other girl. That girl who was tagged then joins that line as a chaser. And the chaser who had just come in becomes a dodger, okay? And then the round continues again. The teacher blows the whistle. The next person comes in to eliminate as many as they can. So if you're eliminated, it could be one person, it could be five people. They have to come out of that square and join the chasing line. You can then adapt it. So instead of just one chaser at a time, you have two people coming in. So it might be even harder this time, two people coming in, trying to eliminate and tag as many as possible before the time is up and teacher blows the whistle. So it's a continuous ongoing tagging game all the time. You can even vary it where this time the tagger has a noodle. I think this is really good fun and it's safe as well. Using a long foam noodle, they have to try and tag people making sure it's below the waist. So it's safe as well. It's a good variation to the typical tagging escaping kind of a game. So there you have it. Those are all the instant PE games for now. I've got so many more ideas that you can choose from. I've got complete lesson plans, complete sports units. This was just a brief introduction to some of the games that I have. Make sure you check out my lesson plans in the links below. And I'll see you next time for some more game changing sports.